Okay, we are back. Next day, new day was a bit rough, but today we move on to Azu. Uh, so let's read up on United B and see, see what Azu is all about. When it hits only a single enemy with an auto attack, a move or the Unite move, the hit is always a critical hit. However, when hitting two or more enemies at once with an auto attack, a move or its Unite move, the hits are never critical hits. Critical hits deal 170% rather than 200%. So this thing should basically win every 1v1 and you kind of don't want... I mean, you want to be in team fights when you need to be, but you want to apply a lot of pressure side laning with this thing, I think. Comes a booster with every third attack, deals increased damage to enemies within a cone. Uh, yeah, within a cone, okay, sure. And then we have tackle, five second cooldown. Charge forward, dealing damage to any enemy hit and leave them unable to act for 0.5 seconds. It's a little stun. Then we have... And then we have bubble. Spray bubbles in a cone, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and decreasing their movement speed by 30% for two seconds. This move can be used while moving. Okay, so there's like subsequent hits on send deal 25% damage. Okay. So this is like not all too important. Six seconds. The main thing with Azu is you want to get to level four as fast as you possibly can, and then you can sort of dominate your lane. Um, I guess this is probably your best secure, but either works. Um, and then we have Whirlpool for a short time. Four small Whirlpools appear that swirl around the Zoomer as it moves. If a whirlpool hits an enemy, the whirlpool deals damage to them and restores the zoomerals HP. If a whirlpool hits an enemy player, an increased amount of HP is restored. Okay, so basically it damages them and you heal. And if you hit someone else, you get more HP back. Moving clockwise against your target will grant more hits against the target and counterclockwise will reduce the number of hits. So you're gonna move to the right. On your, of your like into your target, I guess. Reduce the moves cooldown by two seconds and increase the amount of HP restored after level ten. Okay, and then we have Aqua Tail, which I think is right now the better move. Increase area of effect and attack speed for the next three auto attacks by twenty percent for six seconds. The twenty percent attack speed increase. These auto attacks hit from a distance. They also deal de increased damage and restore HP using Aqua Tail will override any active player of attack change. Aqua Tail attacks count as auto attacks for the purpose of items, lifesteal and other benefits. Okay, so it's basically always auto, so they become auto attacks. Aqua Tail attacks that hit an enemy from a distance reduce the cooldown of all moves by 0 0.8. Oh, I did not know that, that's really good actually. But yeah, you can see here, like when they're in here, you do less damage, when you hit them with the outside, you do more damage and you get like healing and uh, 0 0.8 second cooldown re reduction. And then we have player off, which I think no one is playing right now. Increase movement speed by 30% for 4 seconds. And change the next auto attack. When performing the next auto attack, launch one enemy in range and deliver repeated blows dealing damage to that target and leave it unable to act for 0.75 seconds. That's like a little stun. Using play off, play off will overwrite any active aqua tail attack change. Player off attacks count as auto attacks for the purposes of items, lifesteal and other benefits. Further increase movement speed to 35% when this move is used and also reduces the move's cooldown by one second. So 5% and cooldown reduction, okay. And I think this is like the best move because it actually allows you to teamfight a little bit. Shoot a pulsing blast of water in front of a zoomer. When the blast of water hits an enemy, decrease their movement speed by 40% for two seconds. Deal damage to all enemies in an AoE around the initial target. The blast of water then automatically bounces to another target if one is available, including the first target. The blast of water can bounce between up to three targets consecutively and each hit the age in the same way as the first. While the blast of water is traveling, a zoomer will attempt from a short rolling dash in a designated direction, increasing a zoomer's movement speed for 45 seconds. So basically you bounce this little water thing and if there's multiple people it'll hit multiple people and deal decent damage and you get a tiny little dash for it. Increase the maximum number of targets that the blast of water can bounce between by two. Also, then at level 12, it bounces between five people, which is like really, really good at team fights because you can hit everyone. And then we have the ult, which is 90 second cooldown, so you can basically spam this non stop. Um, Azumarill targets a Pokemon and then pounds their belly three times, using 5% remaining HP with each pound at a shit of 5% max HP shield that stacks with each pound and lasts six seconds. 
Azumarill gains 60 attack for 5 seconds and can move while pounding their belly. Oh, that's a lot of attack. <coughs> Azumarill then charges at the target damaging and throwing all Pokemon hits while charging and Pokemon within the area. Throwing all Pokemon hits while charging and Pokemon within the area effect around the target. Oh, okay, so basically you knock out by everyone here. And you get movement speed, CDR, and shield. And then these are the builds. So we, it's like Aquatel and Water Pulse and Thingy. I'll probably play some Play Rough with Whirlpool as well because I think it's supposed to work together. But the items are the same and this is the same. And you want to play Attack HP Emblem. So it's pretty simple. It's important to note that at level 9 you get a little bit of lifesteal. So that's quite important for your 1v1 fights and also in general just sustaining. But yeah, that's about it. Um, let's head over to practice so and test some stuff. All right, let's get started. So we probably want to play it in top lane, um, and then you can see this our auto, our boosted auto is a bit more in a cone. Like we actually hit a range in front of us. Um, this is our clear, and then we get bubble, and we can see what's better. So this is the damage you deal with bubble, it's not a lot, and that's what we deal with tackle. It's probably about the same. I think you can bubble into tackle. Oh no, you cannot. How do you even secure on this? So you can't bubble into tackle. No, you can just buffer your bubble, or your tackle, sorry. Let me see. Can I tackle into bubble? Uh, that might be the best option, if you can tackle into your bubble. You come from just out and then instantly bubble. You can get a decent burst of damage. But yeah, it's super important that we immediately look for stacks on this character. You want to get level 4 and stacks on their side immediately. Um, and I'll try to showcase that in the games as well. But then we get Aqua Tail. And you can see... So I can showcase a couple of things actually with Aqua Tail. You can see when we're on the inside, we deal 300. And on the outside we deal 500, but then if we hit multiple people, which I will try to get to, um, yeah, as you can see the last one is more damage, let me just run down to the bottom, so I can hit multiple bees, hopefully, oh, okay, unlucky, I'm just gonna do this then. So you can see if we hit one, 526 damage, and when we start hitting multiple, we do a lot less, right? We only do 300, so we, instead of 170%, we do a, only 100. It's not like normal damage, basically. We don't get crits. Um, so yeah, that's that's thing. most important thing to note with Azumarill. There's not much else to this moveset. You can see Water Pulse gives us a little dash, and you can see now it bounces one, two, three times and has a little splash damage um that's that's pretty much it for this move and then i can get myself this oh that's unfortunate um we can only ult on oh no we can ult on to farm actually i kind of forgot about that but that's our ult we get increased damage and some cooldown reduction after that and it knocks them up i'll try and find this guy to showcase that a little bit better I don't know where he is. I'm just gonna run mid now. But yeah, this is literally it for this move. I don't know. If, it's just important that you're like trying to fight at range. I think that's that's the most important thing. You can also charge up your last boosted if you want to. In this way. Um, yeah. I don't know how he even got there. But as you can see, there's not much to this. And then we can get our plus moves. And now Water Pulse should hit multiple times, I believe. If I just respawn these guys. Now it should hit five times. One, two, three, four, five. And it deals quite a bit of damage. Um, obviously more with the ult. One, two. Yeah, so the most important thing is basically just to stay on the outside of your Aqua Tail. Um, and then that's it. Let's just reset and get the other moves up. We get Whirlpool and we get Play Rough. So Play Rough 
it gives us increased movement speed so we can just move around with this and then when we hit someone we get a stun so we can press whirlpool and get this stun you can see our thing moves counterclockwise so if we technically if we if we move this way we get more hits so if we were to start here and move this way we would be getting more hits on it than if we move that way but yeah i think the the, the point of this moveset is to just run around with move speed increase as play rough whirlpool and then hop on them get stuns and that's it it's really very very simple this character um and now we get more movement speed and more healing from this and then we can ult on to this guy and just do the same thing. Azumarill is like super super simple. The most important thing is just how you play Azumarill and it's about playing on like off lanes and making sure you're looking to play by yourself or like isolate 1v1s where you can use the whole like crit thing that it's always a crit when you hit. Um, yeah, I think that's just the most important part of it all but we're gonna add on to some games and see how we do in those. Realistically, I want the mute turn. Am I gonna get ulted again? I'm gonna get ulted now. No? More cut. Shouldn't be an L though, right? Oh. <laughs> they just all got led to their death. Unlucky guys, unfucking lucky. I dare you. And now what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fight. Oh my god, I really just get cooked? No, I don't get cooked, thank god. Okay, unless... It actually goes crazy. Rolled faith. Yeah, we got two kills, we'll take it. Hopefully we clean up the rest of the fight. We should at least. Nice.
fucking push ball. Every melee Pokemon right now seems kind of bad. No, I was cooking this game. Oh, really? Oh my god, I was really cooking this game. to the end of the video uh, we have one two three four five six seven eight losses which isn't too bad considering this is not the most meta pick right now but yeah i wouldn't play anything other than aqua tail water pulse so probably stick to that stay away from whirlpool and play rough and um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow peace